Hey, and welcome to Girl Be Free, a podcast designed to help women get unstuck and cultivate the life you want on your terms. I'm Siobhan, your host, and I'm passionate about empowering women to live their best life. Each week, you'll hear pep talks that will inspire and push you to take action so you too can start to be free and live the life you want. You can learn more about me at BeFreeProject.com. Now let's jump into the show. Hey, hey, welcome to another episode of the Girl Be Free podcast. I so appreciate you for tuning in for another week. And shout out to everyone that has been sharing the podcast on social media, whether Twitter or Instagram, Instagram stories, Facebook. I see y'all. Thank you so much that you are sharing with your communities. And it's a podcast that you're really enjoying that you want to share with the world. I notice it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please keep it coming. Right. So continue to share. Um, tag me when you do so I can totally see it or what have you. But I love that you guys love this podcast enough that you want to share it and you're making it a part of your morning routine, which I think is so cool. So thank you. All right. So on to what I am loving this week. I am really loving my community and my tribe. I have a great group of women that I am connected to, um, whether online or offline that really support me and want to see me win. I consider that a blessing and I am very grateful that I have, I mean, and it's a large group of women that are all positive. They're like-minded. We're there for each other. Um, we can text or reach out at any given time. We're at each other's events and just supporting in so many different ways. And I just really value that because I do understand that not everyone has a community of women um, that they can reach out to that will support their vision and their dreams and just help them like move forward in life. So that is what I am really loving this week. And I consider myself blessed to have this amazing group of women that are literally at my fingertips that I can reach out to at any given time that keep me on my toes. All right. So before I get into today's topic, let me recap because last weekend I had a be free meetup and a be free life class. Yes, I hosted two events back to back. So one on Friday and then another one on Saturday. And so my Be Free meetup is where I get women together. It's about a two hour little networking event where I'm able to um, get women together to network. We have a short um, inspiring conversations or discussions to kind of challenge you and help you to be better in that kind of way. And then you're able to network and make business connections, and just be around positive women. Um, I love it because this way I'm able to tell people about Be Free Project and Girl Be Free and what I'm doing. And um, there were so many new faces in the building, which was so good for me because many of them said they saw me on Facebook. So I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I need to spend more of my energy there. Um, So that was cool. We packed out the room on um, Friday at the Mocha which is an art museum here in Cleveland. And then on Saturday, I had my Be Free Life class, which was the Create the Vision Vision Board Party. And y'all, we packed out the greenhouse, my co-working space that I work at, where women, again, came together to create vision boards and map out their goals and create an action plan for their life. Um, Many of them even walked away with with an accountability partner because I know the power of that. So I wanted to make sure the people that need it it was able to pair up with someone. We had delicious food by Pure Pantry. Um, DJ Queen Caesar was on the ones and twos where she was playing amazing music. And it was just a great community and connection of women creating their vision. Um, I hope you saw the pictures um, on Instagram. I'm going to get them on my website really soon so you can see some of the behind the scenes of what we were doing. But both events were so great. And I'm just excited about what's to come as I continue to have more and more events. All right. So on to today's topic, which is trust the process. So last week I wrote a newsletter um, all about this very same topic. And I received a flood of emails after the last week's newsletter. And sometimes you think that you're the only one going through something until you speak up about it. And then you realize that you're not in lo- you're not alone. And all of the emails that you ladies reached out and you sent me or what have you encouraged me because it reminded me that, okay, 
I'm not the only one feeling like this. Like other women are going through things too, and they also need to be encouraged. Um, so I will say for the last few months and more so, um, the beginning of this year has been really rocky and really shaky for me. Um, and I know how I always get when I'm walking into a new year, I'm like, yes, we about to get it. I'm about to rock it out. I got my goals. I got my vision. Yes. And I have been just trying to figure out what the heck is going on. It seems like, you know how one thing can happen and then something else can happen. And then everything just keep piling on where you feel like you can't take anymore. That's how I've been feeling. And it's been frustrating. Um, I've had to cry. I've been emotional trying to figure out like what is going on. And so sending out that newsletter last week and then receiving so many responses, I'm like, oh my goodness, I got to hop on the podcast and talk about it here um, just in case you didn't read it or just so you could kind of hear my perspective, just, you know, talking about it. And I should have said in the beginning, please excuse my voice. Um, I am a little stuffy this week coming down with another cold that I'm trying to fight. I feel like I was just talking about this a few episodes ago, but here we go again. So please don't mind my voice. I had to get this podcast out to you, but yes, I am feeling a little stuffy. All right. So again, like I said, I did feel like I had to cry. Um, I've had to journal and I've had to really get my emotions together because I felt like quitting altogether. And it wasn't just in my business, but also in my personal life where it just felt like everything was just being thrown at me at once. And I'm like, what gives? So I understand that this is just um, a temporary space, right? So this is not the end all be all. This is just a small little portion of my life, right? Where my faith is being tested. And every single day I have had to choose to smile because if I didn't, if I let my feelings get all over the place and just get in a real bad funk, it could be really ugly. So I don't get on social media to kind of talk about this stuff because I don't, for me personally, it's not the place, but I do create spaces for myself and I have people that I can reach out to that help me. But Every single day I've been choosing to smile and understanding like this is just a moment. This is not your whole life. You're going to get past this. You have to trust this process. And it's in these moments when your character um, becomes stronger, right? You figure out what you're really made of. And it's easy to quit. It's easy to give up. It's easy to throw in the towel. But the people who push past all of the junk, all of the mess, and you stay consistent, even when you don't understand what the heck is going on and you keep going and you keep moving forward. It is going to, first of all, it's going to build you right as a person. And then also you're going to realize, okay, I can get through this. I can get through this. And then you'll be able to share your story with someone else when they are going through different things in their life and you can encourage them. So trust and believe whatever you're going through, it's not about you at all, but you have to be challenged to see, can you take when, you know, everything is coming at you at once, like, how would you, how are you going to move past that? And then what is a story you're going to be able to tell when somebody else needs to be encouraged? And I know you need to hear this because so many of you emailed me last week, letting me know, and I need to hear this for myself because I need to be reminded of who I am and what I've been called to do. And the purpose that's over my life and what I need to be putting out in the world and what I need to be creating in my own home. Like I have to be reminded of that as well. So I understand that I am doing great work. I am a great mother. I am a great friend. I am a great wife and I know what my purpose is, but that doesn't mean that this is going to be easy. Everything in your life at some point is going to be a challenge and you have to push past no matter what. And again, as I'm talking to you, I am also talking to myself. I am still trying to fight through some things right now and keep just pushing through. And I have some great things that are coming up, but it's like when you're in it, it's like you can't even see it, right? It's like you kind of forget the things that maybe, you know, like, oh, I know this is going to be better because this X, Y, and Z is going to happen. But it's hard to really think about that when you're in the moment, right? So last week I did end up crying out, right? And my best friend reached out to me and she was like, let's talk. 
and she was able to encourage me. She was going through some things, so I was able to encourage her as well. And it just felt so good to be able to share, to be comforted, comforted, to be encouraged, and and it helped me just feel better, right? And so if you if this year has not like popped off the way that you want it and you feel like life is just a hot mess right now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to pause. I want you to breathe. I want you to be easy on yourself and give yourself grace. Every single day you get another chance, right? Every single day you get a second chance. You get a fresh start. So don't be too hard on yourself. Understand that everything will work out because it always works out. Every single time, it always works out for your good. And again, we can't see it when we're in it. But if you just look back a year ago about something that you were dealing with, or maybe even a couple of months, and look how you got past that, right? So just keep that in your mind. And then here are some things that I want you to do to help you get yourself back to a positive headspace. I want you to journal. Um, I don't want you to keep everything built up inside. I want you to release and get your words down on paper so that you can like release those emotions. And I will say that, um, you know, there's no like special way that you need to journal. Just write whatever is on your heart. It could be a word. It could be a sentence. You could write really sloppy, whatever. Just get it out of you. And if you're not someone that likes to journal, I know you have a smartphone, so go ahead and record yourself just getting that out of you because when you keep it all in, it causes stress um, and it, it can literally make you sick, right? So I want you to find some way or some outlet that you can get your feelings out, okay? That's number one. Number two, cry. Cry is, when you cry, it's such a release, right? And it feels really good. And sometimes you just need a good cry so that you can get like, like, whoo, I, I like, I needed that, right? I have cried a lot and I'm not ashamed of it. Um, I have my moments and it's all good. And I feel like once I get that good cry out, like, okay, Siobhan, let's get it, get it back together. Let's wheel it back in. Um, feed your mind with positivity. So do not let those negative thoughts that are floating around in your head, do not let them settle, get them out, have some type of positive quotes or affirmations that you can recite so that you can start to speak life over yourself. And of course, you know, I have, or maybe you don't, but I have the girl be free affirmation cards and I will drop the link to those, um, in the show notes that you can take a look at, but those would definitely be great because you can carry them in your purse and just have affirmations with you at all times. Okay. Um, number four is to call a friend. So call someone that you can trust that's going to let you be you and they won't judge you and they will be there. They will be a listening ear. Um, so definitely reach out to someone and, um, Someone that you, you know, that loves you and that will be there for you and that will be able to encourage you. Um, And then number five, listen to your favorite songs. It's going to boost your mood. So Naya, um, she responded to my email last week and she was like, listen to the song. All right. By Lettucey. And y'all, that song is so beautiful. I love Lettucey anyway, but her reminded me to listen to that song and then listening to the words. I'm like, yes, it's exactly what I needed. So find you some songs, create a playlist so that when you get into a certain mood that you can put on some music that will make you feel better. All right. And don't be discouraged. Okay. Simply choose to show up for yourself every single day and speak life over your situation. Stop speaking the negativity and all that jazz speak life. So this week I'm going to share with you for your action step. Um, it's more so a positive statement that I had to write in my journal that I want to share with you. And it says, you are important. You are loved. Your presence is needed. You are worthy of your desires and you matter. So maybe you can write that down in your journal. You can recite it. But again, that's just you speaking life over yourself. Okay. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Again, check out the Girl Be Free affirmation card decks because they're going to be perfect when you feel like, 
oh, what the heck is going on? You have a deck of 31 cards that you can go through. So you take a card for every single day and you recite that affirmation over and over and over again, right? And then you move on to a new one the next day. And then once you go through the whole deck, you start over. And these affirmations are affirmations that I use and that I use to encourage myself. So again, I'll drop the link for the Girl Be Free card deck in the link and make sure you don't wait to the last minute to get a deck. Okay. Because I've already sold out and I'm adding new ones to the store. Um, so go ahead and get your copy or excuse me, get your card deck. Um, they're inexpensive nine 95, go ahead and grab a deck of cards. And that way you have, um, something that you can add to your toolkit. Okay. Um, when you get all of your fillings. All right. I do have an announcement. I, the next be free meetup will be, um, February 9th, which is a Friday. So it, I would love for you to travel to come see me. It's my be free meetup where we network and have inspiring conversations. It's from 6 PM to 8 PM at the greenhouse. The details will be in the show notes. And then also the next be free life class will be on February 24th, but I'll share more details about that in the next episode. So Again, please share this podcast with your friends. Thank you so much for um, tuning in as always. If you have any show topics or questions that you want to ask me, I do have a link that you can click on and complete the little form and then let me know some of the topics that you want to hear discussed on the episode. And then thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I appreciate you. Continue to share this podcast with your friends. Subscribe leave a comment. And until next week, girl, be free. Thank you so much for listening. Your support means the world to me. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. And if you're feeling really fancy, go ahead and leave a review. Until next time, be free and live.